tonight, Thomas bumps some trucks. Thomas bumps some trucks. And Thomas bumps some trucks. Every day the Fat Controller came to the station to catch his train. He always walked over to have a word with Thomas the Tank Engine. Hello Thomas, he said. Remember to be patient. You can never be as strong and fast as Gordon the Big Blue Engine, but you can be a really useful engine. Don't let those trucks tease you. There were lots of trucks at the station. They were silly and noisy. They talked too much and played tricks on engines that they were not used to. Thomas worked very hard, pushing and pulling the trucks into place and getting them ready for the big engines to take on long journeys. was also a small coach and two strange things that his driver called cranes. That's the breakdown train, he told Thomas. The cranes are for lifting heavy things like engines and coaches and trucks. One day, Thomas was very busy in the yard. Suddenly, he heard an engine whistling. Trucks can run an engine right off the rails. Oh. Stay right there, James. I'll go and get help. Fetch the breakdown train! Quickly shouted one of the men. You want breakdown trains? I'll give you breakdown trains, old son! Thomas was coupled onto the breakdown train and off they went. Thomas worked as hard as... Oh, come on, come on, hurry, hurry, hurry! Oh, 
bother those trucks and their tricks. I just hope poor James isn't hurt too bad. <sighs> no wonder I couldn't stop. It was those bloody wooden brakes the works gave me. They always said they were no good. Thomas pushed the breakdown train alongside James. Then he pulled the unhaired trucks out of the way. Oh dear, oh dear, they groaned. Serves you right, you miserable lord. Come here! Puffed Thomas. He was hard at work, puffing backwards and forwards all afternoon. This'll teach you a lesson! This'll teach you a lesson! He told the trucks. They left the broken trucks, and then with two cranes they put James back on the rails. He tried to move, but he couldn't, so Thomas helped him back to the shed. The fat controller was waiting anxiously for them. He smiled when he saw Thomas. Well, Thomas, he said, I've heard all about it and I'm very pleased with you. You are a really useful engine. James shall have some proper brakes and a new coat of paint, he said. And Thomas, you shall have a branch line all to yourself. Have you been on the internet again? Yes, I have. <laughs> and I found this. A branch line all to myself, sir? Oh, thank you, sir! Said Thomas, feeling very proud. Now Thomas is as happy as can be. He has a branch line and two coaches called Annie and Clarabel. Annie can only take passengers, and Clarabel can take passengers' luggage and a guard. He is never lonely. His friends, Edward and Henry, stop quite often to tell him the news. Gordon, the biggest and proudest engine, is always in a hurry, but he never forgets to say, and Thomas always whistles, in return. Okay, Percy, for the unteenth time, why was Victorian pulling your trucks into Ellsbridge yesterday? James, I've tried to tell you, mate, the fat controller just wants to have a break from pulling coaches! Percy, listen to me for the love of Pete. Maybe you don't know much about Gresley's designs, because the P2s are not goods engines! Yes, that is true, James, but the A2-2s did pull good strains at some point in their lives. Cuh, don't remind me of those hideous rebuilds, Percy. Whatever Thompson did to the P2s is just... Well, James, listen to me. Thompson's specifics look strange with that front end, because he was using the old connecting rods of the P2s, hence why they have a long smoke box and pushback cylinders. And what if I told you the P2s probably weren't as good as we thought they were? Pah! That's just rubbish, Percy! Seriously, James, I'm trying to tell you the truth about them! The A2 slash 2s aren't as bad as you think they are! Pah, yeah, right, Percy! I'm not letting her suffer! What the? Percy, come back! Ah, oh, cinders and ashes! 